Day one, what'd you see? Day one, it was good. It was, uh, I mean, it's fun to see everyone's body. Everyone's obviously coming off of a summer workout, everyone's in shape, so fun to be back. I mean, the coaches, we've got a lot of new faces, not a lot of new bodies, but uh, I'm excited for this year. Still a lot of returning experience as well. How does that uh, advance day one? You guys, I mean, it seem like you guys are already a week or two into practice. Most definitely, yeah. It's like, it's just hitting the ground running. I mean, you look at all of our, our offense, we're, we're coming back, our defense is coming back, so it's fun to just kind of like, you know, you got over that learning curve. You know, we got a lot of guys, a lot of the young bucks are already learning, so it's exciting. Defensively, what are the top priorities over the next month? Because obviously there's a lot of work to do. A lot of work to do. Stay healthy, number one. I know that was an issue for us last year. So staying healthy, big time. And then obviously we want to stop the run. Our front seven, just be strong. And so for us, it's just it changes so much week to week because you got to prepare. So it's just being able to be versatile and just, you know, get, be prepared for anything they're going to throw at us. What With the injuries last year and the, and the rep, extra reps that the twos and threes yeah. got, what impact has that had starting out fall camp this year? Yeah, so obviously, as you know, Peyton, Wilgar, and Keenan Peely, those guys are two starters that went down last year. And so they coming back, they look good. Keenan's moving well. You know, Peyton, both shoulders, he got done, but he's still big and, and looks great. So those are two guys I'm super excited to have back and just playing by my side. So, um, But other than that, like, everyone looks pretty healthy for the most part. Ben, what's your confidence level of the guys behind the main four, you, Max, Keenan, and Peyton? Uh, I'm gonna be real. Like I really do believe in those guys. I'm not just saying it. Like we got a lot of guys. Obviously, Pepe Tonovasa. He moved back. He's playing. He's playing more of a backer. We've got Jackson Kafusi, uh, Kavika Gagne, um, and then we got a bunch of RMs that are that have showed up. You know, Bodie Schoonover, Tate Romney, Logan Peely, um, and then I'm sure I'm missing somebody. But yeah, uh, the, Josh Wilson. So yeah, Josh is kind of playing over more in the field. So if, you, if we're talking kind of just the two backers that are the Mike and Rover, I'm just including those guys. But yeah, Max, Morgan Piper. We got. Like, I really do believe in a lot of these guys, so. There's, uh, you guys have been working out all summer, obviously. Yeah. This isn't the first time you've hit this field, but that, just that first day, what, what does that mean to you? I mean, it seems like you just have this huge smile yeah. on your face. No, I love that question. It's uh, it's fun, because you come off the summer, like you've been bulking all winter, and then, you know, it's kind of, you trim the fat over the summer, but I think everyone feels like, I mean, you've been, you've been pre preparing for this the whole year, right? So it's like, you just hit the ground running. You feel, you feel like dynamite, you're ready to roll. <laughs> so I, I'm excited, it's fun. There's a lot of guys in on this team that have kids. Yeah. And Kalani just joined, you know, with a, yes, with sir. a recent newborn. Yes, sir. What's that like having a coach, having a newborn, and, and you know, just kind of that fraternity? Because BYU is unique in that yeah, sense. Yeah, absolutely. No, yeah, I was I was looking around at my backers. Like, I'm the only backer out of the, the mics and the rovers that's not married. Everyone else is married. I'm like, <laughs> I'm solo out here running around. But you got to get on that. Yeah, I'm, I'm getting on that. So, yeah, if you're listening, if you're listening. No. Nah, you're announcing um, you're single? <laughs> so, anyways, no, but. uh. Look in the camera. <laughs> <laughs> no, but uh, it's it's definitely it's cool because I'm like these guys are they got their head head on straight you know I don't really got to worry about them you know these guys are going to bed at seven like I don't even I don't know what do, what do the married boys do but uh, no it's a, waking up at two exactly yeah, for the baby but uh, no I mean it's it's fun to have those guys because they like you know I'm always chirping in the ear asking them you know how how it is but uh, yeah no it's it's definitely interesting but uh, you know at the end of the day they're all boys like they're gonna get the job done on the field so. Ben, now, that, oh, now that you're not yep. a new guy, yep. what's a successful fall camp? Like, just what, what do you, not necessarily like goals wise, yeah. even you personally, but just like as a team, like what's a successful fall camp look like? Yeah, no, I mean, for me, and I think just for the guys who've been around, staying healthy and then perfecting your craft. I mean, it's so easy to go through the motions. Like you had, you're coming off a good year. Like, you know, you don't, obviously your, your job's never safe, but like you can go out there and just go through the motions and not get better. But, you know, for me and I know for the other guys, um, it's just getting better every single day. Like as you, we've always heard that cliche f phrase, you know, 1%, but that's for me staying healthy and then getting better, getting prepared for game one. Yes, sir. Any other questions? Thank you. Go Olympus. I, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I appreciate you guys. Thank you.